Hello, yes, the Football Lads Alliance should call off its planned march for next Saturday, the 19th of May, in Manchester. It's the anniversary of the Manchester Arena bombing. They're going to march there to show their support for the victims, those that were murdered, those that were uh, horribly uh, maimed and burnt and whatever. They're going there to show their support. But the left are now organising to oppose it. So the end results, like I predicted months ago in my videos, will be violence. They have let the Football Lads Alliance march unopposed, right? But this time in Manchester, where there's obviously a growing anti-Muslim sentiment, this is where it's going to go off big time. Because that growing anti-Muslim sentiment in Manchester, right, it must be quelled, quashed, stopped. And the way to do it is by using violence. And they'll use the Football Lads Alliance because the Football Lads Alliance has been created by the security services. Not the 99.999% good lads. I'm on about the leaders like John Megan and whoever else is running it. They'll be controlled by the security services. And it's two criminal proxies, Hope Not Hate, Nick Lowell's, Jerry Gable's, Sage Lab Magazine. You see, there's a lot of parallels here with the EDL and the Football Lads Alliance. They, the security services, that is with uh, fellow agent uh, Tommy Robinson, a snitch for the security services, they started the EDL in 2009. The EDL starts growing bigger and bigger, and then what happens? There's a split! And there's a split, and the Northwest Infidels, they split off and form that other cranky group, which was also controlled by the security services. But anyway, and then what also happens? The founder, Tommy Robinson, decides to leave. More demoralisation. People get disheartened. Isn't that exactly what's now happening with the Football Lads Alliance? You've got the Democratic Football Lads Alliance. You've got John Megan. Is he leaving or has he left? And this is what they do. The security services create these outfits, courtesy of its spies, Tommy Robinson, John Megan. They build them up there, give everyone all the encouragement and, you know, they stop believing this is it, this is it now, nothing's going to stop this. Then they split it for whatever reason they come up with, financial irregularities or whatever. And then the founder will leave, Tommy Robinson, John Megan, more demoralisation. But first of all, the Football Lads Alliance, like the EDL, they have a role to play. And that role to play is to dampen, stop, uh, quell the rising anti-Islamic sentiment message that's growing in this country. It must certainly be growing in Manchester. So the best way to stop it is through violence. And there's going to be violence next Saturday, right? Because the left which will also be controlled by the security services, without a doubt. They're organising to oppose it. You see, the only way you're stopping this is by voting the fuckers out. Now, the Football Lads Alliance, correct me if I'm wrong, on one of their marches had 40,000, 40,000 in attendance. There's a political movement overnight with a branch in every town and city, but that would never happen. You see... No disrespect, lads, but you're there for your football team, first and foremost, everything else is secondary. Because if it was called Brits against terrorism, would you all be turning up? Well, the answer's no, right? You're there for football. Now, I'm not knocking you, but I'm stating the truth. So, that's why no political movement can come from it. At the end, I'll leave the manifesto, the aims and objectives of the Football Lads Alliance, it's a, a mini political manifesto that can only be implemented via political wins, council wins, parliamentary. Those uh, demands or beliefs, whatever, th the governments will just take no notice of them, right? You have to vote the fuckers out. But the Football Lads Alliance is being created deliberately, like the EDL and the Northwest Infidels and uh, Paul Gold in Britain first, is to quell the rising anti-Islamic tide that's growing in this country, right? They're there to stop it, to scare people away through violence and confrontation. All that march is going to do next week, next Saturday, 
is just insult the memory of those that were killed and maimed and all their relatives. They don't want violence in their city. Why didn't the Football Lads Alliance, through one of your football teams, say Man United, Man City, choose a candidate or candidates and field them in the uh, May elections just gone? With all your thousands of helpers knocking on the door, canvassing, you'd have romped home easy, but no, violence. And this is what it's all about. You see, they've turned the anti-Islamic movement now into entertainment. That's what that's what's happening here. It's being turned into entertainment. Well, that's not going to stop what's happening to our country. So the Football Lads Alliance, if you've got any decency and I've got this all wrong, you need to call off your coming march for next Saturday. Okay, thank you.